Microsoft suffered another blow in its aim to buy Activision, but it was able to strike a deal with a less but still important company. If you stick around, you're surely going to find out more about this story. Well, we'll elaborate more on that when you hit the subscribe button, the like button and the notifications bell so you'll be first to hear about our latest videos. Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tech Tech. Microsoft has been able to snag a consolation prize that comes as a 10-year deal with a European company called Enware. Enware is a Spain-based cloud computing gaming provider. The deal struck by Microsoft is as follows and I quote, it's a 10-year is a 10-year agreement to stream PC games built by Xbox on its platform, that's NWS platform, as well as Activision Blizzard titles if the, the deal pulls through or after it closes. On a side note, it seems like Microsoft likes making 10-year deals with companies. Remember, they also offered PlayStation a 10-year deal, which they still haven't accepted, by the way. Cloud gaming for me still has some proving to do. And the market is still, you know, shaping up. Google killing off of Stadia is not a good sign in my book, um, but I'm just one guy, so my opinion doesn't really mean much. Streaming gaming sessions is still a pretty new concept, and Microsoft is betting big on it that it survives. Well, I hope it fares better than than what Facebook did with the Metaverse. You know, now Zuck is all about is all about the world's new favorite toy, AI, artificial intelligence. You know. Everywhere you look, it's just AI, AI, AI. You know, the world can get enough of it. Well, NY is like GeForce now, which means you still get access to top games, top games from studios like Epic Games, Ubisoft, and of course, Steam. If it doesn't have Steam, if it doesn't have Steam, what would you, what use would it be? All from the comfort of your TV, smartphones, or from your office computer. That sounds like fun, right? But don't just get caught. Well, Microsoft will get a decision on its acquisition of Activision by the European Commission on the 22nd of May. A decision some expect will go in the favor of Microsoft. Finally, they're going to get a win, hopefully. Uh, this sort of signals that their plans to assure re regulators that the deal will not lead to the demise of the gaming industry or competition to the gaming industry. Well, the CMA, which is the UK's Consumer Market Authority, and the USA's Federal Trade Commission have taken issues with the acquisition, with the CMA saying a big no to the, to the Activision deal and with the FTC suing to block the sale in December of last year. You know, and we try our starting in August of this year, which is just a couple months from now. The CMA voiced concerns over Microsoft's growing dominant position in the cloud gaming department with a market share of around 60 to 70% as of 2022. You know, it's a pretty large percentage, but you know, dominance, I don't know, but I guess I'm not a regulator. Um, Microsoft and Activision actually plans to appeal the decision of the CMA, <laughs> expected nothing less, with both cases expected to take many months until a final decision is given, if it's a sale or a no sale. You know, this kind of rubbed me off as um, NVIDIA's ill-fated decision to buy cheap designer ARM. You know, there's so many back and forth that effectively led to a no-sale situation. And that doesn't look good for Microsoft or Activision. Well, on a side note, maybe if Sony decides to accept the 10-year deal offered by Microsoft to keep Activision titles like the Call of Duty on PlayStation. Maybe, just maybe, it might help the deal pull through. Maybe that might help, you know, um, regulators see that if two, um, if Sony can accept that deal, maybe they're gonna have a way to, you know, make it work. But I don't think Sony's gonna take that deal. Because um, a 10 year deal will only guarantee that the PS6 and maybe, just maybe, the PS7 will get future Activision Blazer titles. And that is not gonna look good for the future of PlayStation. Well, so guys, do let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Peace again.